Welcome to Going Bright. And in this episode, uh, I find out that my well's broken, and so I have to make some repairs. And I also find out that I can, I've got an awesome light that I got from work, and I can hang it, but there are some problems with that. So we'll go through that. If you haven't yet had a chance to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, trying to build up the channel. Plus, I'd like you guys to know exactly what we're up to here in the state of Florida and uh, what it's like in the difference between California and living here on a homestead. Take care. So woke up this morning, Karen told me that there's no water at the house. So <laughs> here we are. Um, had to go out and try and diagnose. Called the guy who did the well. Uh, initially, he didn't call me back. Uh, took things apart, kind of got into it. I didn't realize that there is a capacitor and a relay and some other stuff in in an electrical box for the well. I thought it was just a connection, junction box kind of thing. But So it turns out that uh, it looks like the capacitor is bad. I guess I'll find out here shortly. But I'm uh, going to swap that out. Hopefully then start uh, making some water, water pressure, and uh, we'll move on. Here's what I get to play with. This is the capacitor. When I went over to Granger's, he tested it and said, yep, it's got a short not really surprising so they sold me this one uh, about 20 bucks which is good news um, so the cost is going to be fairly inexpensive but in playing with uh, the wire connectors this one was a little corroded and loose and when I touched it uh, this little fin here uh, kind of well if I mess with it now it'll just come off right so there it is. Uh, I didn't really want to use that again. So that's what this bit is here. We'll go ahead and do that if I need. I bought some extra wire and we'll make up some new leads. This lead uh, made the connection, but it looks a little rusty. So I may replace the two ends, see how that goes. And if it doesn't go overly well, um, we'll replace the whole wire set. Yeah, I had a couple of good things going for me this morning. One is I have a pool, so uh, because I couldn't take a shower, I just kind of jumped in there, rinsed off. And because of Hurricane Ian, I had stored a bunch of water in our stainless steel, you know, water uh, bottles on the counter. So I had plenty of water to make my coffee this morning. So I'm all good, caffeinated. So let's jump into getting this thing fixed. Man, my new shop can't come soon enough. I'd love to have a place where I could just do this instead of standing here and having a uh, my solder station sitting in a drawer. I just rearranged and everything. But I Frankenstein a wire together. I needed it to be this style because I needed a 90 on one end. And this should have been a 90. It was originally a 90, but I don't have a 90. So this coupler is good. The other end was the one that broke, so I just kind of made a wire and we'll uh, see if we can get it installed and get this thing working. Well, it's good to know the door actually uses the water. I just rinsed it out and got all the gooky stuff out of it so it's nice and cool. But that's awesome to know that he's got good clean water out here. And since I fixed the well it can replenish itself again. <laughs> Well, I went over to Granger's, paid their full price, got the box, put it back together. So that's that cover uh, that has the capacitor and relay in it. So that's all back together. We have now built up pressure again. So we are all good. Super excited that we got that fixed. I did go over to uh, Lock, which is a LO. L O C K E, Loke, and got the complete replacement for that and a complete replacement for my pressure, the one that kind of stuck open the other day instead of closing when it should have. So I have those parts. I was a little concerned because it's Friday that this stuff would fail again over the weekend and then I can't get parts. So I'll let it run until it breaks again. But I have a complete set of stuff to replace these things now. So, we are good. 
All right, so I picked up this really cool uh, chandelier that'll go a little bit better with our motif instead of this one. And I was excited I was going to go swap it out, but then I looked up at what I had underneath here in the ceiling. So what we have is a ceiling joist and two screws on the mounting bracket going into the ceiling joist. And just wires hanging out of the drywall. So I gotta go get a saddle electrical box and fix this. Can't believe they did that. But we're trying to figure out right here, kind of hard to see, but right there, there's kind of an old circle. I don't know if that's where the light used to be. Definitely not centered in the window, but uh, yeah, my project for the day. So now we got the lamp up there. I have a new pancake box up and installed. And so it looks, uh, looks good. Way better than that other thing. Yes. And it uh, has a protective box now.